I want to thank you again. I couldn't have done any of this without you. We got a quality product. Control the market. Competition is in pieces. We are running the show again. But we both know there's unfinished business. Danny Lee, the Braithwaite's, the Revenuers. The writing's been on the wall for these sons of bitches for too long now. Today's the day we wipe it clean. All done. You mixed it right? It's good. I did it with Marcel. All right, then. Now, a limb here. He said a meet with Danny Lee and Braithwaite. Led on, he wants to cut a deal on the side. Anything to get out from overbearing Aunt Maggie. She can be overbearing. And they're desperate enough by now. As for Ixon, we floated word to him. Chance to get us, Danny Lee, and the Braithwaites in one swoop. We're gonna get there early, douse the spot in this, <laughs> and give him a hell of a surprise. If you can get Danny Lee alive, you bring him here to me. If not, well, so be it. As for Hickson, you promise me he'll smile when he takes his last breath. All right, go get the wagon ready. It's time. You watch him for me. He's, uh... Well, he ain't you. So I personally mix this whole batch every single bottle. <laughs> well, me and Marcel. Good hooch puts hairs on your chest, but this stuff, it'll torch him right off. Kira Shine, I like to call it. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll pour this stuff off. Hey, slow it down a bit. The deal with great weights, no Des Moines Raiders, so it, it should just be the three of them. Christ knows who Hickson will bring along with him for the ride, but we do this right. They won't even know what hit them. Sitting ducks. The blast doesn't kill them. We'll pick them off one by one from the trees. Pow, pow, Pretty good. Come on, let's find some cover. Where is he? Ooh. Wagons here. Lamb! It's Danny Lee! Well, this stuff stinks. Well, this is their recipe. I'm not sure I want it. Lamb! You got one minute, Fuck. We're out of here. Hold it right there. What the hell is this? You said it was all good. It was. Mr. Caton, I feel like you've been avoiding me. And you must be the Braithwaite. How sad. From prince to peasant. I got guns covering this whole area. Is that a threat? Let me go. I'll call him off. And, and, and you can have Danny Lee. What, Mr. Braithwaite? I can have him. 
How very kind of you. And I also have $100 R right here. Well, never let it be said that I'm not a reasonable man. Well, go on, then, if you're going. Why are they letting him go? Really? You're all but finished anyway. I only catch the big fish. Put your goddamn hands up. All right, start moving. God damn you. Oh, here he is, the half-wit. It's not really his fault, fellas. His mother drank a lot. You goddamn son of a bitch. Thanks for all this. Didn't you ever wonder why I kept you alive, you born idiot? How's your aunt, by the way? I never got a chance to ask you at the boat. You bastard! <laughs> He won't get far! <laughs>
Okay. Okay. I think this is all gotten a little out of hand now. Don't you? You know what they do to people? That murder federal agents. I can make that go away. You kill me. You'll be running for the rest of your life. Come on. That razzle tag is just using you like she uses everyone else. Guest of honor. Finally. <gasps> Give me your knife. You know, I was so looking forward to seeing you that I got you your favorite whiskey. <laughs> Go on. Give the man a drink. I'm fine. Give my goddamn drink. What do you want from me? You snake. You oh. left me to die. What was I supposed to do? Six years. I gave you my trust. My power. Power? Listen to you. You can't see yourself, Maggie. You never could. Well, I see myself. I can't not see myself. But I won't slink off like a coward. I'll look you dead in the eye. Maggie, please. Get out of here. And I mean so far away, you'll never see me again. I didn't... I mean, I'm... Just go. 
Danny Lee. Now here, it is good whiskey. And Hickson, good. Now maybe it's time for me to move on myself. Too many memories around here. I don't know. Maybe not. For now. Prosper. <laughs>